earrings uh, with uh, nail foil so much that I decided to do the same on different colors of background, a different background, and probably with different type of foil. So I prepared here like dark color and light color uh, shapes for earrings and uh, I covered them with uh, acrylic paint so now they're dry and I can try different type of nail polish uh, nail foil and uh, experiment but let me tell you more about nail foil as you can see I have a lot even more but um, there are nail po nail foil clear like this one for example so if you transfer to your shapes of earrings on the paper on the wood so you see you can see the the background and it's beautiful because it's actually gives a very beautiful uh, i would say design and also we have like this one for example with separate flowers so you can use to uh, do some kind of like you know bouquet or combine different flowers and even even uh, they have um, some boards we have also semi clear uh, uh, it's actually inside but if you transfer on a on the ground on some kind of uh, shape then it will show a little bit of the colors that's why you always have to try how it looks before you transfer the nail foil and we have solid one well not solid but let's say not transparent so you see you cannot see the background so it doesn't matter which color color you use even let's try the black one still you know still you cannot see the background that's why it's also a very good one as uh, a difference between nail fall that some nail fall is short like this so it's enough for one pair of earrings and probably one pendant because if you put even like this let's say as you can see it's quite short of course you can change the direction and you, but again you would like to have very similar uh very similar design uh, on on your earrings right that's why you cannot put in different way another problem they not just could be short but sometimes it's difficult to choose the best way to transfer this nail foil at let's say it's short if your shape are long so sometimes they use a small one shapes it could be good for small shapes like this for example right so again you have to look at the size and length of this nail foil to decide which one you're going to use and also the problem with some nail foil that they have a different design that you cannot turn around let's say like this one you see it's um, not easy to chance because from left side and from right side they have different design and uh, you cannot put like this so you have to combine or you can use like only for half let's say like this one also it's probably the easiest one to start with uh, because you can turn around and then you can use in different directions you can combine which is good which is actually gives the option to have this interrupted surface you see it's actually i have to combine two two uh, stripes of this uh, of this beautiful uh, foil uh, and um, as i said it's not necessary to put on a whole surface of the uh, of the shape shape you can use just a half of the shape this is not the best lace i have like la lace foil but but what if i want to do just half of the earrings let's say 
like this one what if i want to do like this one only like just like some kind of like this type and here i can add some sparkles right so you can combine nail for as much as you want um, using different direction different combination sometimes i use like flowers i use like different type types of nail fall and I combine from this one and another one so I choose different type of flowers and I can show you actually the result of this uh, combination so here my first actually pendant I made uh, with the nail foil and you know when I was transferring I made a mistake and I didn't like that it's actually short and then I could see the line going through the middle of my pendant and how I can ha hide the line. So what I did, I added some roses one by one, creating some kind of like composition, like Victorian type of pendant. And you can see that it turned out very beautiful. So I use uh, this type of foil to transfer different color. Again, I found that some of these flowers, they semi-clear. It means they, you can see the background. If it's, if it's black, for example, then they will be a little bit dark color because it's foil. But again, you can use a couple layers to get the design you want. So as you can see, it's one of the most beautiful pendant I have in Victorian style you can say in Victorian doesn't matter and actually it's it's a and I add some little sparkles you see little drops and then it's it's in the end it's amazing result I'm very happy about this pendant before I start transferring the nail foil i choose the design let's say of this lace i want to put on my shapes and sometimes it's not easy to choose but again you don't want a whole background hidden that's why like you use lace and you can see how it looks so you can actually experiment and choose the best one you like and i have different ones here so it's not easy and all of them I like it. I mean, it's I like all of them. 